What's going on my fellow jewelers? Today is a resin day and you know I'm about that resin life. Oh my gosh, I love resin so much. So I wanna teach you two, possibly three techniques when it comes to resin jewelry. The first one is when you have embeds. Now embeds are little like, these are hearts, you see these heart embeds and they have other ones. They have like stars. There's even some that look like sprinkles. My, my son was like, mom, are those sprinkles real? I'm like, no, no baby, those are plastic sprinkles. Don't, don't eat them, please don't eat them. And so I'm gonna teach you about embeds and some techniques you may need to know or that would be very helpful for you to know about how to do embeds. Oh my gosh, isn't that so gorgeous? I This is one of my favorite pendants of this whole video, just gotta say. And then the other one is fine glitter. I love using fine glitter. I love this technique where you actually paint um, on the mold first. You paint this on the mold and then you pour on top. And so I love this technique. And there's one other technique I will show you today. It wasn't as successful as I wanted, but I figured out why and I'll tell you in the video. Anyway, so so before we get started, make sure you subscribe my channel and click that bell get notifications because I'm all about the how to's of jewelry making, whether it's beaded, whether it's resin, I got your back. So you and me, let's get started. Okay, let's get started making these resin pendants with fine glitter as well as some like embeds and stuff. Ooh, I love this kit. Um, I have already mixed my resin um, from the kit. I use the A and B and mixed uh, 15 milliliters of each. And I, I said I wouldn't from the last video. I said, don't do the 30 millimeters, but I needed more resin today. And so I was like, ah, I'll suck it up. And I got resin all over and everything. But I've already stirred very slowly for three to five minutes. Um, I got, um, it mixed it well. And now I want to start making these pendants. Now the blue is from the, the alcohol ink I used from the last video, which I think is interesting. Um, I haven't had problems with the ink coming back up when it dyes it, but we'll see for this one. We'll see. Um, so let's do, let's let, I'm going to be using, um, this berry color. I got this at Walmart. I'm going to be using this berry color, um, for, for the color for, for the pendants. Um, I have extra disposable cups that I will be using. Um, I, I want, um, the majority to be that color. So I am pouring, I don't know, I am pouring probably about 40 milliliters. No, not 40. I only have 32. <laughs> I'm probably pouring about um, 20 milliliters. And you're, I poured in that and then I still have a bit left. And then we are going to put a bit of our dye. So we're going to drop... Oh, I need to mix this first. Oh, I tell that to everybody. Mix it first, mix it first, mix it first. And apparently I don't listen to my own advice. Do you ever do that? You give someone advice and you don't listen and it's really good advice. <laughs> I do that a lot. Okay. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm just kidding. Um, okay. So I'm going to drop in. I'm going to drop in a couple drops. Oh, that's much better. Okay. That's probably five glops. Um, you can always mix more in, but you can't take it out. And so I'm gonna mix it up, try not to do too fast so I don't make more bubbles. Um, and I'm gonna look on my stick. My stick tells me how um, like transparent it is or if I wanna add more. So like when it goes down and I see more stick than I want, then I can add more. I might do just a tad bit more. Oh, it's a really pretty color. I like that berry color. It's a metallic berry. I like metallics, oh my goodness, I am obsessed with metallics. I don't know why. I feel like there's glitter, like metallic is part of glitter. So we have that. I'm gonna do the, the glitter, the, I'm gonna use a fine glitter. And so I'm going to pour, okay, I can always add more. So what I wanna do is I kinda wanna make a paste. I wanna make a paste. I know that sounds weird. I wanna make a paste. I'm gonna move my embeds to the side because we'll use them in a second. And I want to add a little bit of color. I like adding color. I'm using a mica silver gray color. I like to add a little bit of color because it's not just all sparkle. Like it, it brings color, just a little bit of color. You don't need much, especially when you're making a paste. I probably add too much, that's okay. I, I like to, I always overdo it. I'm just that type of personality. I overdo it, right? And then we're gonna add glitter. We're gonna add glitter. Oh, be gentle on the glitter. I'm just gonna put it in my mic. Oh yeah. I wanna make a paste. This isn't a science. We're just kind of making paste, okay? And then we can always add our takeaway for the most part, which is nice. I'm gonna get my stir stick and I'm gonna mix it together. Yes, and I got a good paste. I like that. I like the consistency. Um, I'm just making a paste. I might even put a little bit more glitter. You're just kind of making, and what I mean by paste is that your color, your, your whatever, 
way you decide to color your, your resin and then the glitter, um, it kind of makes the resin thicker. It makes it thicker. Um, and so, oh, that's plenty. Ooh, glitter goes a long way, y'all. Glitter goes a long way. So I have a very cheap, inexpensive um, brush that I am going to use. I'm gonna take it and I, I'm gonna do it, um, let's do, let's do the oval. And I'm going to color my bottom of my, here, let me, I'm gonna color, I'm gonna paint it and make it kind of thick. I'm gonna make it kind of thick. I kind of like a little bit more paste, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna paint it. And you're gonna even paint the edges like where you want it. And I like just doing kind of like the bottom. It's so pretty. This is so pretty. I like doing the edges. I'm gonna go like that. And I'm gonna do the edges. And then I'm gonna kind of leave that, okay? I'm gonna kind of leave it. And then, well, I'm gonna do a little bit more. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Again, this isn't a science. Like usually I'm like, you do this and then you do this and you do this. This is more like being very artsy with yourself. And I'm not a very artsy person. I like um, very, I'm a numbers kind of girl. I like things in order, but this kind of brings out the artsy in me. And so we're gonna let that set just a little bit to thicken up and then we're gonna do a couple more things with it. The next thing we wanna do is we're gonna kinda um, just paint. This is a different one, this is a different. We're gonna paint um, this pendant. It's a rectangular pendant. We're gonna paint it and we're gonna kinda get goopy with it. We're gonna paint it, paint it. You can paint the edges if you want. You don't have to, but you can paint the edges. And then the fun thing, and I wish it was a little bit more goopier. Um, the fun thing with this is that the the combination of the the mold, right? This the silicone mold and this paste is that the the paste that we've made starts to pull away and it makes these cool designs. And so do you see how I'm getting holes already? Not holes, but but places where the resin is pulling away and it makes this beautiful design. And kind of like the longer you leave it, the more it pulls away. Oh, do you see that already? <gasps> it's gonna be really, really pretty. I'm super excited. I like how it pulls away and it makes its own design. It's just so much fun to me. And this we're gonna leave a little bit longer. And then um, I might do that with a couple others. So I'm gonna fast forward through that and I'm gonna do, oh, it's good. <gasps> I'm so excited. Ah, can you tell I love jewelry making? I love jewelry making. And so I'm gonna do this two techniques with um, maybe like two others and then we'll get to the next, uh, and then we'll do the next stage, the next step. Okay, I already, I really like that design already. So before it does any more, because it'll keep going. And if you don't like the design, then paint it again, uh, mix it around again and let it change the design. But I really like that design. So before it does anything else, I'm gonna put resin in there. I'm gonna fill it up with resin and it'll make this cool, beautiful design. Oh, with the berry color. This is gonna be so pretty, y'all. I'm so excited. So if you like the design um, for the pull away, when it starts, when you're painting the whole thing and it pulls away, then pour right away. If you don't like the design, then use, let me just say, let's just pretend I don't like this design. Do you see this right here? Um, let's just say I don't like this design. And then I just, I just repaint it and then it'll make, and then it'll pull away in different places and stuff. And so just um, when you like the design, then then pour, and then it keeps, it semi keeps that design. It resin has a mind of its own, it does its own thing, right? Um, so for this, oh my goodness, I love this so much. Um, this is so fun to me. I Again, I'm not very artsy and I just find this so fun. So um, I'm gonna do kind of the same thing to this now that I did here, is that I'm gonna start making designs um, along the edge, right? I'm gonna take some of my, and I'm gonna just kind of make some designs like, yes, and go like that, and then see what it does. And when it does what I want, then I'll pour, I'll pour it. Oh, I like that already. I like that a lot. See how it's kind of changed and moved already? Now I'm gonna pour my resin. And again, it's gonna do its own thing and it may mess it all up and you'd be like, okay, that's how I wanted it. <laughs> so now with these embeds, I have these beautiful embeds that came with a kit, right? And I don't know, I'm on a gray kick today. I'm on a big gray kick today. And so I am going to add these gray silver. I'm gonna add these silver hearts 
um, to, I used to, this is what I used to do. I used to pour my hearts onto my mold, but then it wouldn't do what I wanted. But I found if I put my embeds in the clear resin, um, then it did a lot more of what I wanted. So I'm gonna take my embeds, I'm gonna pop the cork out. Just kidding. How do I pour? Okay. Oh, that was scary. I was scared I was gonna get it all over. So I'm going to pour my embeds in my clear resin that I set aside. Okay, that's plenty because I don't want to waste too much. And not waste, but use a lot. I want to save them for later kind of thing. And then I'm going to take another stick and I'm going to stir these and I'm going to kind of make them separate. They kind of want to clump together. These ones do. There's other embeds that don't want to. And I'm going to mix these together. Now for this, because that's kind of pretty and kind of fun, I might add a little bit more because I'm, oh, oh, let's do something really cheeky. <laughs> I like that word cheeky. Let's just add a little bit of fine let's add let's add a little bit of fine glitter let's add just a little bit of glitter to kind of get some pizzazz you if the embeds are big enough you don't need to add glitter but i just kind of want it yes <laughs> i like it a lot i like it a lot i like it a lot do you see this um this one in particular is i'm going to do half um i'm going to do um half of the clear and then half of my um, my my berry color. So we're gonna add it in, slowly but surely, going where I want it to, right? And then I'm going to slowly um, go along the edge to kind of stop it and then pour the rest in. I'm gonna, oh, that's such a pretty berry color. I'm so glad I got it. So glad I saw it on sale. Thank you, Walmart. Um, and it's just a pretty like, um, how it's like half and half, right? And, but that's how you do those two techniques. Uh, actually, th I kinda showed you three today, didn't I? I'm pretty cool like that. Um, in 24 hours, I will demold these for you. All right, it's been 24 hours. They were dry in less than 24 hours, but let's unmold these puppies. Now the first ones I wanna do, I wanna do these guys, cause they look, oh! So cool, look at that. I love the embeds and I actually like, I didn't know if I would like the glitter after I added it, but I actually like um, the glitter that was added to it. It just, oh my goodness, makes it pop. Let's do the other one real quick. <gasps> look at those, oh my goodness. I love the dark color that I have, that berry color uh, mixed with the white and the silver. It just makes me so happy. Um, let's unmold this puppy. No, I like this. This is just kind of like funky and fun. I like the little waves. I, 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 I like, I like this style. It's just a fun style. Um, I did that for one more and, um, the blue actually, I think it came through just, yeah, the blue, dang it. That's really annoying having the blue come through. Um, I don't think many people would notice that, but the blue, um, from the mold did come through on this one, but not on this one. That's interesting. And then this one I'm a little disappointed in. I'm a little disappointed in that one. Um, so I am learning that with um, some resins are thicker than others. And when it's thick, you don't want to do certain techniques. And when it's thin, um, you can do techniques. And so this technique I was doing here, it didn't come out as well. But do you see like this is the same technique and I really like this technique. I just don't, I guess I don't like it with um, a thicker resin. When there's a thinner resin, it like uh, globs quicker together and it makes more like a pretty like watercolor. This is just, um, it's not as pretty. <laughs> I'm not liking that as well. Um, the other two, uh, the, the, this, the, um, this dried a lot quicker and so it didn't glob. And then we're just gonna show you this cool puzzle piece which was just excess resin. Anyway, these are the techniques um, I recommend with this technique when you paint, um, you're painting the mold, right? Like you paint the mold um, with the paste um, using a thinner resin than J, D J Diction um, is really thick resin and stuff. And so um, there are certain techniques you can't really do, but I, I like these techniques. I think they're fun. Well, well, <laughs> what resin uh, pendant did you like best? Now this one did not turn out as well as I would like. Um, again, I figured out that it was probably too thick of um, epoxy and you need a thinner epoxy to do this, but it didn't turn out too bad. It's not too, it ain't, it ain't that bad. But these guys, these are the cat's meow, meow. 
all. Okay, I'm being a little weird today. But these guys I think are absolutely gorgeous. And I love the, especially this one. I don't know why. This is just pops. This is my favorite. I do like this technique a lot. I think it's gonna be really pretty. Really, 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 really pretty. But I do, I do like this technique a lot. Tell me what you thought about the technique. Can we go, Des, I need more help. Or Des, that was fabulous. Thank you, darling. Fabulous, darling. Fabulous. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you comment, share, like. Also go to my social medias, my Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram, and check out my creations of the week, as well as sneak peek of the week for what I'm about to do for my jewelry channel. Before I go, you know I love praying for you. I got your back. I want to pray for you. I love praying for my viewers. And today I felt like God wanted me to pray for your distractions. Um, I was so reminded when he said, pray for distractions. The song came to my head by Toby Mac and Kirk Franklin's in it and Mandisa's in it. And it says, I don't want to gain the whole world and lose my soul. And they were quoting a scripture from the Bible that we can get so distracted with the world that we forget what's really important. And like we get so desensitized, we get so distracted from the world that, um, that we miss the things that are really important, that are really, really important. So I want to pray that you would not be distracted with the things of this world, but we really focus on the things that are important that God has put in this planet that are really important. So God, Lord, there are so many distractions in the world. So many. I mean, like, I can name like 20 in like five seconds, God. But Lord, I pray, God, for my viewers. God, I pray that you'd help them not to be distracted with the things of this world that are are, are just kind of pointless or they're, they're, not, um, they're not the things that are important, God. Help them to get back on focus on the things that are important, the things that matter to you, Lord. God, I just pray, God, that you would show them right now the things that have distracted them and then help them to step away from that and step back into things that are important or maybe for the first time they'll seeing things that are important god so just i pray against distractions in jesus name amen all right all right guys thank you so much for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next video bye